Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lila Higgins. I run the Higgins Creative Marketing and Brand Agency for Coaches. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I've created some line art elements. So this is a style that you'll see, it's actually kind of coming back around. It's an older style, but it's come back around and it's so pretty. And I've used it in a couple of clients' uh, current branding, and I absolutely love it. So it's a lot simpler than it looks. I know it can feel intimidating that, you know, the one line is just gonna continue to grow and you have to like make sure it looks good as you go but I have a really easy trick if you're not super practiced at this art form for you to create a digital version for your clients or your own brand. So let's dive in. Today I'm going to show you how to create line art illustrations for your brand and digital products like this and this and this and this and this and so many more. So you can put them in your websites like this. Are you ready? Let's dive in. To get started, like any good design project does, you want to gather your inspiration photos. So for this video, I'm gonna show you how I interpreted some yoga poses. So you'll just go in and grab a couple of these images and we're gonna work with this one today. So we're just gonna download it and then I'm gonna airdrop it to my iPad. You can also airdrop it to your phone or search for Unsplash on your phone and then move forward from there. Hey guys, so to get started, you're just gonna wanna open your Procreate app. You can also do this on your phone. Right now I'm on an iPad, but on your phone, you can use the Pocket app, which is also by Procreate, but it's the phone version. And you're gonna open up your new doc and it doesn't really matter what size you use. Just make sure that your size is large enough to uh, not become pixelated when you start to process it. So. I like to get as big as possible, so I'm gonna use this 4K option, and I'm actually gonna turn it this way for the, the project I'm working on. To get started, you're just gonna go up to this little wrench icon up here, hit insert a photo, tap on the photo that you want to mimic or copy. You don't have to use this art style using a photo, but it's a very easy uh, kind of cheater way to do it and get the right proportions and not be frustrated. So once you kind of fit it into your artboard where you want it, you'll just tap on this little mouse button here. And then you're gonna go over to your layers panel and click new layer. You're also gonna tap on the end of that layer that the photo is on and you're gonna bring down the opacity a little bit. Now I just like to start with black, but you can start with any color you want here. And for this specific art style, I'm going to use uh, the gel pen. So we'll go over to inking and it's gonna be this one right here. Make sure that your settings are adjusted where you like them. I like it a little bit more streamlined when I'm doing this because I need it to be kind of straight and even. So we're gonna go back, tap out of there. And now make sure you're in the other layer and you're going to pick a spot. Now keep in mind, the idea with line art is that you're creating one fluid line throughout the whole picture. So it does not have to be precise or perfect. The idea is that you capture the flow and the vibe and the feel of the image with as little detail as possible. And also as you're starting, you don't have to have everything actually be the same line. That is the challenge of someone who is using a real medium on paper or a canvas. With digital art, luckily you can go in and it's pretty forgiving. So I'm gonna start in one area. Make sure you've got the thickness the way you like it. You can adjust that over here and I'm gonna get a pretty small version. Now keep in mind with the gel pen that when you press, you're gonna get a pretty um, even line, but when you kind of throw it like that, you're gonna get that stretched out kind of lighter thickness line. So you just wanna make sure that you're using those to create the effect you actually want. So do you see how instead of just outlining, I actually went in and used some of the curves I saw in that hand to um, continue with that line, that one line effect. You could also come at it from like the palm, to the finger and the thumb and bring it down. It can be really any way you want. So if you don't like it at first, feel free to change it. And then you're gonna continue with the rest of your image. Now, as you're going, you'll see like these little areas here. You can always go in and fix those. So what I do is I just like to go in and adjust those at the very end once I know I'm happy with it. Now I'm not completely happy with this, so I'm just gonna double tap with two fingers. I'm gonna go back, so I'm actually gonna start from this side, see where we get if we go this way. You wanna try and cover as much ground as possible um, without going over the lines that you've created. 
So a lot of these at first, you're probably gonna hate. So just give yourself grace in that process. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time and just let yourself kind of be loose with it. A good point here is if you're doing a human body to identify the joint areas, because that's really where you can turn around and get more versatility in your design and it looks more natural. Another thing too is identifying the nose because that kind of gives you a good uh, way for your mind to anchor to the face and which direction it's heading. So you can either anchor to the nose or you can anchor to um, the eye. You'll notice a lot of artists who do line art do identify the eye as kind of the main point, right? They'll do stuff like this where you've got, you know, that kind of design. So keep that in mind, like there's there's actual focal points of the human body that will identify and it will help us to place what the design is. Um, but a lot of line art is meant to be interpretive. So don't be afraid to uh, just be okay with, you know, interpreting, interpreting the human body differently than other humans do. Okay, so that's a pretty good um, starting place for me. So I'm gonna actually remove the photo and see where I'm at. And obviously this can be edited, it can be changed. Um, you can do it all over again. I'm gonna show you some other examples of uh, this style in yoga poses that I really, really loved how they came out. Uh, doing this one live, I'm not as happy with it, so I would probably go back and change some things here. But let's move on to looking at the examples of what I've created um, within this style, because I think it'll give you a lot of inspiration. So here are some of the images I pulled in from my Procreate app, and these are just in Illustrator so that I can break them down and kind of clean them up if needed, but they really didn't need much work. Um, but you can see how I incorporated uh, kind of the joint rule here and uh, really clear here with the feet twisted. Um, really just bringing out the core elements. Here you can see her braid falling down. Bringing out the core elements of the, the photos and the image I'm trying to capture while keeping it really simple um, and being really clear in what you're looking at. So you can see down here, I've incorporated them into different colors for a specific brand style that I was going for. And here's some examples of how you can use them in uh, social media graphics, on your website, etc, etc. So that's the basic use for them. The nice thing about line art is you don't have to group it, so everything is grouped together when you import it into Illustrator or use it as a PNG. Um, and then it's really simple once you're an Illustrator to um, export each of these as individual images. But keep in mind that in Procreate you can actually export from Procreate as well. So you don't even have to use Illustrator if you don't want to. Um, and you can recolor in Procreate. Once you get your design where you like it, it's really easy to go in and change colors and adjust how you want to present this image. So if you want to change colors, all you have to do is go up to this color picker and choose your color. And then you grab that dot and select and drag it to the black outline. Now, when you want to export this, you can either put it into a design software or you can go in and remove the, phot the photograph and the background layer. And then you're just going to go up to this wrench icon and make sure you select PNG because what that's going to do is it's going to create an image without a background. Make sure that your all your other layers are turned off though because you will export a PNG that has a white background and that kind of defeats the purpose. So you want to hit PNG, export that, and then you can airdrop that to yourself, email it to yourself, save it on your phone so you can use it in your uh, apps that you're using to create images, however you want to export it, and that will be there for you. I'm going to show you how it shows up in the library here. And that is going to have no background on it. Yep, so there you go. So now it's a PNG, so it can be used and you can put some stuff behind it um, and it will show through so it, it looks like it's on top of those things. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this, today's tutorial and if you have any questions about line art or how to incorporate it or other methods in which to do it, feel free to comment below and let's chat about it. I love talking about design and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, until next time, this is Lila Higgins reminding you to get visible and get visual. See you next time.